handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Southern Racecourse here on Tuesday. It is the 7th of December 2021. I'm going to look at the featured fourth race, the 530 from Southern. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. It's uh, the return of racing to Southern uh, for the flat um, with the uh, brand new installation of the uh, Tapita track. So it's going to be quite cool watching these races and see how the track settles in the next few weeks. It's going to start off very slow, but they very much quicken up after a few weeks. Just check out the Goldstone and Tapita track they put in a few weeks ago. Uh, that one was very, very slow, and now it's really quickening up. So uh, we'll just have to see the track uh, patterns. But this fourth race, 530, it's probably the best race they've seen at Southall Sel- in the last few years. This card in general is very good. You have some quality horses. The fourth race, it is the Winter Oaks Trial Phillies Handicaps. Class 2 Phillies Handicap going for a purse $55,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. Phillies mayors only. We have a field of seven horses entered to go the distance of ground at 2,200 meters are moth rates on the all-weather Tapita surface. I almost said 5%, but Tapita. Top selection, we're going to go take the number four horse, Timeless Soul. 4-2-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta for me. 4-2-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, four horse, Timeless Soul. This 3 0 by Knight of Thunder. Roger Varian trains. Andre Atzini gets the mount. The horse hasn't been seen since the 12th of August. That came out Salisbury. A mile and a half in a Class 2 handicap for Phillies. The horse finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths there, and she just never could quicken up. She ran okay, but she could just never got to the full potential late. Coming here off the bench, a lot lesser quality horse on the Tapito, which is standard. She should definitely get the trip, even a little longer in the future to suit her well. But I think here in, in the seasonal reappearance, I think she could run a lot better than she did last time out at Salisbury, where she didn't run half back. She just couldn't win. Two backs ran the 20th of July. Goodwood, soft ground, a mile court, and a class two handicap. Stepping up in class, she finished second by length. Had no weight, but she really ran a terrific race. The winner was carrying equal amounts of weight that day. Really ran a lot better, but this horse really showed potential there. And then at Thirsk on 3rd June, one mile in class five in Philly's Novice. She finished third by four lengths. Again, she just was very lax a day's goal. Mile is definitely not her trip. Like I said, mile three eighths might not even be her trip. I think she wants to go probably mile three quarters, mile seven eighths. The only length tree for her next season looks like a good race. But, um, again, this horse just wasn't getting into it, uh, or one of those staying races uh, for the Phillies. Um, and then prior to that, the Beverly, uh, she ran an 11th of May, mile 16th in Class 5 Phillies maiden race. She finally broke the maiden. You want to be wide at Beverly, and she was just that wide. And she won by two and a quarter lengths, and she got the job done. A very, very easy run. Coming here, getting Adazini up, drawn very well. Four to one, let's use her. The two horse Biola is your wise guy horse. Kept going back to her. She's either going to run a mass race or she's going to hit off the board. Um, her most recent race against the um, at Lingfield in October was just a very disappointing run. She was a little bit too wide there. Cutting back an extra two furlongs should suit her well. Um, you know, she, like I said, she, she's a, she'll run these good races when you're not watching, and then when you're watching, she just throw a head scratcher. But, um, you know, she's a weird horse. We'll use her on the ticket, but I, I do prefer Timeless Soul before her. But to recap my selection for the 530th fourth race from Southern, it's the Winter Oaks Trial. Let's take the four horse Timeless Soul. Give kudos to the two horse Viola. 421 Tri Cash Trifecta. 42 in your place pot. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.